A six-character code has the pattern shown below, and the same letter or digit may be used more than once. How many unique codes can be created? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. The sample set contains 26 letters and 10 digits. There is an infinite supply of each character, and we can use the same character more than once. Lock the positions, no rearrangements, because constraints, letter or digit, have been applied to each position. Fill in the number of options available for each position. Multiply the numbers to get 6,760,000 possible codes. Now we'll move on to part B. If there are two different parkas, five different scarves, and four different toques, how many winter outfits can be made if an outfit consists of one type of each garment? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. The 11 items in the sample set are subdivided into two parkas, five scarves, and four toques. We can select one garment of each type to make 40 different winter outfits. Now we'll move on to part C. If a 5-card hand is dealt from a deck of 52 cards, how many hands have at most one diamond? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. Subdivide the 52-card deck into 13 diamonds and 39 other cards. There are two cases we want zero diamonds and five other cards, and one diamond and four other cards. Add the two cases to get 1,645,020 possible hands. Now we'll move on to part D. If there are three cars and four motorcycles, how many ways can the vehicles park in a line such that the cars and motorcycles alternate positions? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. The sample set is subdivided into three cars and four motorcycles. Set up positions for the vehicles such that motorcycles and cars alternate. Fill in the number of options available for each position. Multiply the numbers to get 144 alternating arrangements. Now we'll move on to part E. Show that n choose r equals n choose n minus r. Rewrite the question. Expand both sides using the combination formula. Simplify. Rearrange the denominator so the two sides match. This shows that n choose r equals n choose n minus r. Now we'll move on to part f. There are nine people participating in a raffle. Three $50 gift cards from the same store are to be given out as prizes. How many ways can the gift cards be awarded? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. There are nine people in the sample set.
The gift cards are identical, so the order in which they are awarded is irrelevant. We can select three people for the gift cards in 9 choose 3 equals 84 ways. Now we'll move on to Part G. There are nine competitors in an Olympic event. How many ways can the bronze, silver, and gold medals be awarded? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. There are nine people in the sample set. This question has an identical solution to, from a group of nine people, how many ways can we arrange three in a line? By the fundamental counting principle, there are 504 ways to award the medals. We can also answer this as a permutation. There are 9p3 equals 504 ways to award the medals. Now we'll move on to part H. A stir-fry dish comes with a base of rice and the choice of five toppings. Broccoli, carrots, eggplant, mushrooms, and tofu. How many different stir-fry dishes can be prepared if the customer can choose zero or more toppings? Pause the video and organize the information about this question. There are five toppings in the sample set. In method 1, we can select zero or more toppings by adding the cases with no toppings, one topping, all the way to five toppings. In method 2, we can assign two states to each topping. It can either be selected or not selected. We can use the formula for zero or more combinations, 2 raised to the power of n, or we can multiply 2 choose 1 5 times to get the answer 32.